I'm about to put a brain in my electrical system. Today we're installing is an energy monitoring system called Wiser Energy. It's a um, partnership with Square D. They use the Sense technology. So you might have seen devices that look similar to this that are red and they say Sense on them. Um, so this Wiser version is, you notice it's green. It's partnered with Schneider Electric or what we know as Square D. Um, but it's partnered with them and it's still using the Sense app to collect data. It uses machine learning basically to monitor what's going on in your electrical system in real time and uh, give you some feedback and let you know what is happening with your electrical system, what loads are turning on over and over, what's happening all the time throughout your house. Um, if things come on, it lets you know. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can configure it and information. There's historicals and graphs and all kinds of data, but it's, it's like a way for your house to have a brain, really. And I've always thought that that was something that we need to do you know, we have these smart phones and we have like smart homes, everything is going smart, all this, you know, kind of machine learning that's happening. And we have doorbells and, you know, like rings and, and all of these, just these different ways to interact with your house's electrical system from an app. So this is a way for your electrical service and your entire electrical system to have an app that actually shows you what's going on in real time with your electrical system. I think that's awesome. this wiser system is we're going to install the antenna so there's an antenna and there's actually a cord that hooks into the monitor and you, you can take a half inch knockout and knock one of the holes in the bottom of your panel you could do it in the side as well but um, i'm choosing to do it in the bottom of my panel just because it's an outdoor panel um, and i want to make sure that no moisture water gets inside of the panel so i don't want to do it in the side where water could leak in i'm doing it on the bottom once i get it all hooked in next thing i'm going to do is hook up my current sensors uh, or donuts, a lot of electricians call them donuts. Um, but I'm gonna hook both of them up to the incoming phase conductors, the ungrounded conductors or hot conductors, the red and the black. Um, it doesn't really matter if you put these current sensors in one way or the other, you just have to make sure that they're both in the same direction. So if you have the sticker facing up or the sticker facing down on either one of them, just make sure that you do that on both of them. Um, otherwise, it's, it's not gonna sense correctly. It's gonna be sensing in one direction, one way and one direction, another way. Once you've got the current sensors on, take the other end of those current sensor leads and hook those into the monitor. If you have a parallel system or if you have a solar system, this would be the time that you would put the other current sensors on and hook that into the spot that has the little sun logo on it. This is the solar port or this is the backup leads if you're not using them for solar, if you're using them for a 400 amp service with parallel feeds, uh, you would use the second port for those leads. Last thing that we're going to do is hook up the actual power wires. This is going to power the monitor itself. Um, so we're going to take our neutral conductor, hook it into the neutral bus. Then we're going to take each one of the ungrounded conductors, black and red, and we're going to put them in the breaker. Notice we have a 220 breaker. This is a 20 amp breaker. In the instructions, it says that you can use anything from a two pole 15 to a two pole 30. Um, so you do need two poles. You can't just have a single pole breaker. Um, but it gives you a range, which is kind of a, a little bit of a weird thing because as electricians, we're so used to sizing breakers for conductors. So we're looking at devices that protect conductors. So this, this is 16 gauge wire that these leads are made out of, yet we're putting a 20 amp breaker, which is good for 20 amps. It's okay. The manufacturer's specs in the, the actual instructions say to use anything between a 15 and a 30. So that's the manufacturer's specs. Just do what the manufacturer says. Once I get all the conductors in place, I'm going to go and zip tie everything neatly. I don't want this crazy mess of all these conductors. You can see already that we're there's just things kind of going everywhere. There's not like a set place inside of this panel for this monitor to go. Um, but I'm trying to keep all of the conductors nice and neat. So I'm going to take zip ties and I'm going to zip tie them to the uh, incoming service entrance conductors um, and just kind of try to keep everything folded neatly and in place. Now, once all of that is done, I'm going to turn the breaker on, 
send power to the unit. Within about a minute, you should hear an audible beep from the, the device that lets you know everything is good to go. If you don't hear a beep, then there's definitely a problem. Uh, so, so you need to check your install, make sure that your current sensors are facing you know, the same direction. You don't have one facing every other. Make sure that the leads inside of your breaker are all the way landed. Uh, make sure that one of them didn't come out or it's not loose. And also if you're having any issues, just make sure that the actual um, leads that connect into the monitor itself are hooked up correctly. At this point, we're still gonna hook up to our wireless network inside the house, but we haven't even gotten that far yet. This beep is just sensing to make sure that the unit is installed correctly. If you have an iPhone, go to the Apple Store, or if you're uh, an Android user, go to the Google Play Store. You're gonna search for the Sense app. Once you download the Sense app, you need to hook up to a wireless network. So it's gonna ask you a whole bunch of information. So start filling all of these fields out and pretty soon you're gonna notice that it's going to uh, start looking for devices and start kind of sensing what's going on. And every once in a while, you're gonna get a message in the app and it lets you know like, hey, we've found some new device um, or you're using this much power right now and it kind of messages you as things happen. So over the next couple of days, you're gonna notice uh, certain loads will turn on and turn off and it reports that to you like, hey, we found uh, something that we think is an air conditioner. Can you confirm this an air conditioner? And what they say is anytime that something comes up, there might be some weird commonplace names for things that it might not match up to what the actual load is. So when something turns on inside your house, it's actually beneficial to go around with this app open and kind of see things turn on, turn off and be like, oh, wow. That's saying my fridge is turning on, but that's not my fridge, that's my air conditioner. Um, because not everybody has the same kind of power for things. So if it senses an air conditioner at somebody's house that has a 60 amp air conditioner, it could be sensing, you know, definitely an air conditioner, but it could also be sensing like a stove or, uh, you know, a furnace or something like that. So you just kind of need to watch and make sure that's the machine learning component. So it's kind of learning as things go. So the more that you can put the names of things in correctly and let it know what's actually happening in your house, the better that the system in general is gonna run for everybody. So over the next few days, um, once these loads start getting associated, you're gonna actually start collecting data and you can look by the hour, by the day, by the week, by the month, you can see what's going on and then it shows uh, a whole bunch of different loads so you can see what the wattage is and watt hours and how much this is costing to have certain things run throughout your house throughout the day. And it lets you know what the big power consumers are. So I had no idea how much my air conditioning was running all day long. Um, my house is really inefficient. I have like old single pane windows. The house was built in 67. So I know already that my house is, is very inefficient, but I have a very energy efficient um, air conditioner and furnace are brand new, um, but I still just didn't realize how much it was running to try to keep everything cool. So it's it's kind of cool. It shows you when things are turning on, when things are turning off. It shows you how often your refrigerator turns on and turns off. Um, never really turns on and turns off, but it, it's always um, you know changing its power. It's always rising and lowering every time the compressor kicks in, and it has to actually cool the stuff inside of there and then shut off. Um, so it's really cool. You just get to you get to learn a little bit more about your electrical system, see what's happening, and uh, have all of that information in real time. So I think it's a really good step forward in our houses actually being smart homes and having a little bit of logic and a little bit of diagnostics and monitoring of what is going on with our electrician or our electrical system. I'm going to come back in about a month and show you the diagnostics, show you what it has done and, and how it's kind of learned my house, what loads it's found and what information I've gained over the last month. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys have used these before, if you've ever had to install them at a customer's house, if you think thumbs up, thumbs down, anything like that. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these wiser units for your own home, uh, you can get a 10% discount for the next three months. So from the time of this posting, three months from now, which ends up being like, I don't know, middle of February. Um, but you can get 10% off. So put in a uh, offer code electrician U. There's a link in the description below. Go get you one. Love you crazy people. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.